All right. So, hopefully everything is good. You look a little crooked, but... <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. So, welcome to the temple. And uh, I don't know how the lighting is on me, but I wanted you to see my beautiful masculine cock worship, wrong worship, altar. <laughs> um, I, I have many altars that I change regularly, but right now I have two altars I'm working on, one for masculine and one for feminine energy on either side of my temple room for balance. There's a masculine um, altar here, and then right over there on the other side is a feminine altar. Um, you know, I'm really in this place of wanting to create balance in my life and inside myself. You know, I really, you know, I don't I identify as female. I don't identify as androgynous, but I feel androgynous a lot. Like, I believe in, you know, striving for equanimity inside and outside, um, universal oneness of the masculine and the feminine all around, you know, between me and myself and me and everyone around me having nothing to do with gender identification, although, you know, creating a vast amount of awareness, consciousness, and consideration and empowerment around all the many gender identifications. Um, there are so many ways to play along the spectrum of relating to life as however you identify along the gender spectrum. Um, and as someone myself who identifies as, I would say, an androgynous woman, um, I guess, you know, because I, I can play very fluidly in between masculine and feminine energies. I have a strong masculine side and I have a strong feminine side. Um, and then sometimes they're not totally in balance, you know. One of my challenges is, you know, I discovered a part, like, a part of my discovering of my masculine energy was a healing tool because my femininity was so wounded. You know, I had so much trauma throughout my whole childhood and teens and young adult years around my femininity and my sexuality. And I think it was just natural for me to grab onto masculinity really strong and find that as my safety net, you know? because it was too scary to be so feminine and so vulnerable and sexy and open and I had just had enough of that like you know <laughs> and you know I, I can very clearly remember the day about six six ish years ago um, where I recognized that there was an imbalance in my life between my um, masculine energy and my feminine energy, my sexual energy and my spiritual energy. Um, my So I, <laughs> like at this point of time is when I was uh, dominatrix and living the life of a dominatrix very strong and hard really playing in the realm of masculinity in a big way um, and I found great healing there and great empowerment and I learned so much about myself through embracing my dominancy and my masculinity um, but you know when I realized the imbalance and the need for um, creating more balance in my life around masculinity and femininity, 
there came a whole nother level of healing around my masculinity and my femininity and more balance and more safety with my femininity and so much healing around that wounding that brought me into that place of grabbing onto my masculinity so hard and strong. Um, and so today I, I love playing along the spectrum of masculinity and femininity. You know, there are times when either, you know, um, personally, I am called to be more on one side or the other, or certain areas of my life, or certain relationships call for me to be in one area or another. But in my general way of being, my general mode is very androgynous, very balanced between my masculinity and my femininity, and practicing being in that place and for me practicing that means you know having times being very masculine having times being very feminine and then having times where i get to just go you know just really allowing myself to be you know and that's kind of what i want to talk about right here that's what this is all about is just Letting yourself be whoever you are and show up on the gender spectrum or the masculine feminine spectrum, however you are, like fuck societal norms of man, woman, masculine, feminine, blah, 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 blah. There's so much shame in our society that needs a lot of healing. And there are many of us struggling, finding healing and empowerment. And finding safe places to show up wherever we are in our world of masculinity, femininity, or how we identify on the gender spectrum. And... And I just want to bring more awareness and consciousness to that from a tantric perspective. You know, there's a lot of um, tantric practices and tantra teachers and tantra events that aren't very um, LGBTQ and uh, gender fluidity friendly. Um, there's a lot of old school tantra people that are very much still living in an old school view of man woman and masculinity and femininity um but when you really dive into tantra you know you'll see that it has nothing to do with gender you know that it really you know is just this open spectrum where there is no right way wrong way there's no the way it's your way tantra is about celebrating and embracing your way whatever that is showing up in life emotionally spiritually sexually physically mentally intellectually you know however it feels best to you you know uh, showing up for yourself as you were created in your most natural highest light, as you would like to be, as you were born to be, as you are right now. <laughs> All right, I get to go. I have a really important appointment this morning. I'm kind of scared about it and excited. It's a really long appointment, and but. It's really important. It's going to help me around a lot of what I'm talking about, my struggles with my past traumas and going blind and just there's so much going on in my life right now, you know, that is just crazy. <laughs> but um, I'm feeling really good this morning. It's a beautiful gray wet misty day out and i love that 
so and I get to see I'm developing some beautiful new relationships with friends and lovers and clients and reconnecting with old clients I haven't seen in a while and it's really nice you know and um yeah meow meow Mwah. have a beautiful day and if you want to reach out 603-247-5288 is the way you want to help me bring some events to life i'm still looking for help with bringing all the temple of frolic affairs to life people to help me on the background with like virtual stuff people to help me more on the front ground with like co-creating or um, co-facilitating prepping all that stuff so um running a sex positive temple frolicking community is not something i do on my own <laughs> so if you want to get involved just reach out Mwah. bye have a beautiful blessed day